I'm a physician. I've been practicing medicine since 2004. I have been in Missouri at Capital Region Medical Center for about 12 years. I've been the medical director of the inpatient rehabilitation unit for eight years. I had a patient, and he was one of the long haulers of COVID. He um, was on the ventilator for about a month. When he came to my rehab unit, he had a feeding tube in his stomach. He had a trach, which is a tube that goes into the neck, into the trachea, that at one time when he was on a ventilator, that's where the ventilator attached. He also had a significant neuropathy in his right dominant hand, which was nerve injury. He had a very difficult time using his hand for simple tasks, such as eating and he was so debilitated that it took two people to hold him up as he sat at the side of a bed. He was on my unit for about two or three weeks, and when he left, he was just able to stand up, but he still needed assistance to take some steps. He told me that he thought this virus was a hoax. He had this look in his eyes of complete bewilderment, as if his reality, his world, his belief system was literally turned upside down. And I find that so incredibly sad because this is a man that was in his 60s. He still had a lot of life left because of his mistrust of reality. He'll never be the same again. As I was recording the stories of the IC nurses and taking their portraits, I saw a struggle with several of the nurses in that they lived in two different worlds. The one world was at work, in the ICU, with every room filled with COVID patients on the ventilator, and patients dying sometimes on a daily basis. And then they would go home to another world where some of their family members, their close family members, siblings, or parents, would tell them that this virus is a hoax. It doesn't exist. And if they would just open their eyes up, they would realize the truth. These nurses really had a hard time uh, between living in these two different worlds. And it was this idea of these two separate worlds that really drove me to do this project. I wanted the general public to hear the reality of the nurses, the techs, the doctors, the patients, and the administrators who deal with COVID on a daily basis. Our reality in the healthcare world is that we see a lot of people who don't need to be this sick. We see people on the ventilator, needless deaths, preventable disabilities. If we all took personal responsibility by wearing a mask and getting vaccinated, we see our coworkers burned out. We see nurses and doctors just done it's it's really tough i'm just not sure how many more waves this can last